abused, beaten, raped, and Mama says they're lying. Who did she blame when you were sexually assaulted? Me, when I was 10 years old. I was raped. I contracted gonorrhea. Do you believe your boyfriend sexually molested your daughter? Oh, I'm oh, Did oh, you let that be with me? It's time for the truth. Hell no. You ain't no mama to me. Right now. coming in and thanks for watching. Today we're going to meet one family. They are finally going to sit face to face and confront the many horrific skeletons in their closets. And here is what I'm talking about. My mom made my life a complete hell. She abused me verbally, physically, emotionally all throughout my childhood. And she feels as though she did no wrong. She stole thousands of dollars from me and my siblings. She hurted us mentally and physically. I was molested by my mom's boyfriend. Ten years later and she's still believing him. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I want some closure. She's in denial. My mom was supposed to protect me. She's supposed to keep me safe. She didn't do that. Please welcome Angelique to the show. Angelique, how are you doing? All right. Let's not talk about today. Let's go back in time when you were a little girl. Angelique, what was your childhood like? My mom made my life a complete hell. She was physically, verbally, mentally abusive. Any abuse you could possibly think of, she was towards us. Um, she beat me. She verbally abused me. She beat me with bell buckles, choked me so I passed out. Um, my sisters and brothers, my sister was raped. Uh, she wasn't a mother to her. It was just a horrible childhood. Today's the day we're going to try to make things as w good as we can because your mother is here. Mm -hmm. There was a time she abandoned the family completely for two weeks. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, I was a child. We were taken by DCFS. I don't too much remember what went on, but she says she left us for one day, but the family member that had custody of us, they said she left us for two weeks, no clothes, no food, no money, no anything. And you had, she had other personal problems. Talk about her being a drug dealer. She was a big time drug dealer, where we grew up at. Like, everybody in the neighborhood knew her. Um, she sold drugs from our home, and that's why we were taken a second time to DCFS. She was also into uh, sex trafficking as far as being a madam? Something. She was a madam, yes. Um, like I said, I was too young for that, but um, I don't recall too much, but she was a madam. She says it proudly. How did you survive? What mechanisms did you use to survive that? Well, growing up, I like took, took the wrong end of the stick. Like I became, I became like violent and aggressive and stuff. You acted so, out yourself. So I act out, right. I was not the perfect child. I'm not saying that at all. Um, but I had to teach myself to be a young lady. I had to teach myself. Without role to, models. Um, without a mother figure, without yeah. my mother. You had to look elsewhere. Now, talk, you went over this quickly. The worst thing that can happen to a child other than death is sexual assault, yeah. rape as a child. Was, now, who did she blame yeah. when you were sexually assaulted? Me. She actually blamed me. Like, I couldn't believe, I really just could not believe well, it. tell like, me how you told her. Like, okay, I was at a friend's house, and um, they sold drugs out of there. And so the drug dealer came in or whatnot, and he just started touching on me, feeling me, groping me and stuff. So I'm fighting him, and he's consistently doing it. So How old were you at this point? I was 15. 15. So um, my best friend helped me, got him off me. But when I went home and I told my mama, she going to say... You shouldn't have been where you was. Um, it's your fault. And I'm like, what the hell? What you know? What type of mama said that? How, how'd that make you feel? I can't. I can't even describe the feeling I felt. I just broke down, and I'm just like, really? That was just the cutoff with me. I'm like, you are not a mother at all. But you, you came here for a reason today, right. Angela. You came here, right. and your mom's about to join you. Uh -huh. and, and your goal is to get it all out on the table. Right and then to move forward. Is right. that correct? That what do you want to accomplish? At the end of this show, what do you want to see? I just want her to 
get out of denial. Remember, just apologize for what you done did. Basically, she's in total denial. She's like, oh, you kids delusional, but we're all telling the same story. But we're delusional. And like, like you know what you did? You whooped us. You know, you did not whoop us. That's what she called it. You beat us. A spanking is one thing, a beating another. Right. You choked me. You punched me. You beat me with bleach bars. You choked me. With a belt buckle. You, Since she choked yes. you, Terry, you almost yes. you passed yes. out. She, she choked me till I almost passed out. She didn't choke slam me on table, stole, steel rack. She didn't punch me, send me to school with lumps in my head, belt buckles, all type of stuff. And... She don't recall none of it. And I'm not blaming her for that because she was an alcoholic. So most of the beatings, she was drunk. And so. the whole family's been torn apart by her behavior. Right. And today the family's coming together right. with the hope yes. of developing a relationship. With Please her. welcome Angelique's mother, Sandy, to the show. Come on out. You know what? Angelique. I can't believe that you're sitting out here saying these things. I mean, I listened to that and it sounded like my ears was burning. You know what? You should have got you some paperwork so you can remember all that crap I, you was talking. No, I do because remember. It's because it's my it's all lies. We all lying, huh, Mom? It's We're lies. All lying. We're, it's all lying. All lying. We're all lying. We're all lying. It's all We're lies. All We're all lying. You were That's drunk most of the time. You probably don't you. remember. Every last you one probably one don't you. remember it. Angelique. I know what you did to me. How you Angelique. gonna tell me what you did to me? Angelique. I remember the lumps oh, in my head. I know what I did I to you. The, I, I know what I did to you. I know what you I did to you. Beat up. First of all, don't cuss at me. You, so you like don't I talk said, to me in that manner. You, you don't talk to me in that manner. Sandy, let's have a conversation. No, you didn't. You got your butt whooped. A whooping is when I get my chest. This is a whooping. This is a You got your butt whipped. That's what you did to us. Ladies, let's sit down. Okay. Sit down. Let's talk. Let's talk. Right. You know what? Stay, right. stay in your sandy. Let's go through your life. Drugs, alcohol, madam, boyfriends. Is any of that let's true? Let's go through the life before Angelique was even born. Angelique wasn't even born. So is she no, completely no. lying? No. She is not completely lying. Is she partially so lying? Is she is partially no, I'm well, lying. Tell her, I want to hear no, from Sandy. Tell us. Tell okay. us. We've heard from Angela. You want to hear from me, so why don't you shut up? Right. No, why don't you be a mom, mom? No, why don't, why don't you, you shut up? So then no, you what I'm going to do now is be That's a woman okay. and tell you to shut up no, when I talk no, to this man. No. Let's you, give, you let's give Sandy a chance. You need to admit what you did. Let, let's give Sandy, let's give her, go ahead, Sandy. What kind of mother were you to your babies? Okay. First of all, everybody, Bill, has made mistakes. Mm -hmm. And the, the first mistake I made was selling drugs. And that was back in 1996. Well, she was three years old. You, had, you have seven kids and four are here today. When they, when they got taken from me and for abandonment, yeah. that was before Angelique was even born. Uh, it sounds to me like she was three years old at the time. No, Angelique wasn't even born. She wasn't even conceived. All right, let's talk about talk about it. Was just my mom, I want to hear from Mama. Talk about Angelique. Was she Trump, was she hard to raise? Did she have sex in the house? Did she get pregnant? Talk about what you saw from Angelique. Were the things that she did? First of all, I ain't never seen none of my kids have sex. Yeah. That's first of all. Right. But I'm I not do a disrespectful know. child. No, I was yes, not a you disrespectful. are. Yes, no, you are. like I said, my ex yes, was are. we ex yes, yes, you you, are. you thought you was going to beat the heck out of me every single day, get drunk, and I was going to say, thank Angelique. you, mother. You was Angelique. a perfect mother. Angelique. No, I'm Angelique. going to rebel. I'm going to disrespect. Angelique. I didn't already say it. How I'm did you remain in school, Angelique? You went, you went up there. Why did you remain in school? Sandy, well, you're a good mom. Because they let me yes. back in school. You're a good mom. Why did I? She's why a good mom. We got up? at least three more coming. Stay right there. This family war rages on. I know the beatings I went through every I day. I can stand I up and grow, mom. I'm not a child anymore. Okay. More siblings. You we pissed us, you. and we, we wasn't we no more good. Yeah. You threw us to the side. More abuse. I was raped in my own home when I was 10 years old. More drama. I really gave. I thought I could, but I really gave. You can't say none of this
Kids are coming out of the closet. Families hope to come together. Please continue. Angelique. No liar. Don't sit in my face and call me no liar. I know what you did to me. I know what you did to me. I know the beatings I went through every day. I know you want to sit down. I can stand up. I'm grown, ma. I'm not a child anymore. I can stand up. I can stand up. stand up. We can both stand up. Because I ain't going to put my hands up. But don't be coming up on me, ma. For real. Because I'm grown. I'm not a child. I'm not a child. I know what you're doing to me. I know what you're doing to me. And you're lying. And you know you lying. Okay, we all Let's sit down and talk. Let's sit down. You're lying. We all the losers. Angelique, do you want a relationship now with your mom? Sandy, do you want a relationship with Angelique at this point? Hell no. You know what? Now. What kind of mother can say? I don't Hold on, honey. I don't need to respect you, dear. I don't need to respect no, you, Dan. You, sure you, you wasn't one there. You, you sure can't be one there. Sure relationship with you. Because I'm going to be a mama to my kids at the end of the day. For so everything I went through because of you. So don't tell me. Don't tell me what the hell you did to me. I'm the only one that's with them stars. All right? I'm the only one. Do you recall when she came to you and said she was sexually abused and assaulted by somebody? Do you recall that incident? Angelique ain't never came to me and told me she was oh no sexually kids. abused. Oh my children! This woman, you are such a liar. Stay in the street. You are such she a liar. She moved around. Is she oh making? Is she, she making all this up? Domestic. She's making up being sexually yes, beaten with is. a belt. Choke. Yes, she is. Beaten every day. <laughs> so, Let's do this. Let's get another Bill. perspective. Please welcome Sandy's son, Karan, to the show. Karan, come on out. You know it. What was I asked, Karan? Huh? Not, not here. Not here. Not here. Your heart probably was in Where the right spot, but I your asked, intentions Quran? was completely. What's your language, Karan? Have a seat. Completely, Ex man. You know that. Perfect okay. example. People. And you know, per come on now. We get two stories. We, we know what it was. You know what it was. Every time we try to come talk to you, man, you. Get up out my, my mama. face. Mom, Another you know woman what it was. Care of me. You knew what it was. Call the family. Y'all, these kids delusional. These a kids crazy. Mom, you I knew what eight. it was. Every what, time what, I tried what, to come boy? talk to you, Mom, you never was what, there. What, what, what? I what? grew myself. And we all the Come talk to me about what, Karan? We all Come talk to me about it. See, you don't even know. Talk to me about what? Come on, Mom, you don't even know. Talk to me about what? Everything. You don't even know. You don't even know, Mom. Okay, so Come on, I'm trying to talk to you about the on my face. Talk to me about what? Let me see. Let me let me you show you. Look, look what You're now. supposed to be talking to me about something, and I'm studying. You what the hell right. is you supposed now, to be talking to me about? Now sit down, Karan. You told us. Did she steal money? Did she steal money, she steal money from you? you? Who beat you? Who no names. You? The names aren't here. You. I'm good at what you do. Who beat you? I'm you good at what you do. You good at what you do? You good at what you do? You good at what you do? Angelique, you good at what you do? Hold on for a minute. You can tell me who beat you. Well, let's do this. Did she steal money from you? She's telling the truth. We're delusional. Mom, so listen up, Angelique. So. To this day, you talk about us, you look down on us, you don't give us no credit, but in the end, you never really say nothing up for us. I had to start from scratch, building everything up for my son and everything. And I built that up, and still to this day, you talk about me. Still to this day, my son and my life, and I got another one on the way next week. Let's hear from mama. Told you to do. My right. child, you left us out there to find out things for you know what's saying the bonds? You ain't getting none home. of that for us. My daughter is one. She has um savings. She has a savings account. Do. She do. has saving bonds. You ain't do nothing for us. Hold on, I want to hear from Mama. I want to hear from Mama. Nothing. My title is a mother. My title is not First Savings Bank. My my title is I pay the rent. Pay the bills. I you put the clothes okay. on your back, the Mr. food in your back, the shoes on your feet. I take your back. Were you a good mama doctor. to these kids? I, you see them talking to you now, don't you? Do they look Let like they under? Boys, hold. That's it. Here, keep you clothes on her like back they too. Undergraded? That don't mean nothing. Karan, that don't mean nothing. Mean nothing. Karan, did that you beat nothing? Man. Man. Explain about that. You beating up her boyfriend? Explain that. It's like he stayed. He always stayed trying to. 
make stuff up and put it on my, my siblings. And then I said, I went to, to stay with my mom for two months. I wasn't even there for two months. This man putting rust on me. He, he all oh, they bust a pipe in the wall, now it's leaking. So he won't come off. Look here. I'm what a man, did you do to her boyfriend? Don't come in my face like that. Did I you break him. his foot? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I hit him and he twisted too many times. <laughs> you, a perfect example. <laughs> hey, he a grown man walking in my face. Hey, it, it happens. Hold come on, on. Karan. Do you take some responsibility for at least some of the things these two kids said you did? Do you recall these incidents? Bill, if you want me to tell you the incidents that I recall that I take responsibility for, it's me being a drug dealer. When I used to be a drug it. dealer, and that's when I only had six kids. When my kids got taken away from me, um, my two kids got taken away from me when I just had two kids, my first two kids. Would you concede, everybody can see, if you're a drug dealer, it is really hard to be a good mom if you're dealing drugs out of Let the home? Let me tell you something, but see, I own up to that. I own up to the facts that I used to be a drug dealer back then. So you admit to some of this. You admit. I just, and I now admit, what do you, you want? What, what do you I want to say to? Do you love Quran? I love all my kids. Do you want to have a relationship? Do you want a relationship? Do you want a relationship? Do you want a relationship? Do you know if what that's love? love? If I got to have a relationship with my love. kids listening to this. Mm -mm. Nope, I want them Ma, let me tell you something. All you did was life. pimp us, Ma. What well, you think you life. did was pimp us. Pimp me and then we was, when we no was, money. right, that's why the government you was getting it to you. No and that's why, money. exactly, because of you. That's why I wasn't able to let them talk to you. Now you in a fight. Now you in a fight. You pimped us, then we wasn't no more good. You threw us to the side. You are here for you. We, we learn from you. You are our first teacher. More children are coming up. Stay right there. After the break, the siblings turn on each other. CP2, mother was not part of Right. I'm about to get off this stage, baby. I'm about to... There you go. And still to come, some of the most shocking moments yet. And you know what? Damn. What? You got what? You said you're going to be a rock. You're not going to be a rock. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425 now. Understand and, and know that they can't keep blaming my mother for everything. Yes, yeah, she wasn't perfect. The longer you hold on to this grudge from what she did in the past, you'll never ever grow. Before we bring in Aisha, hold on, honey. I'm not living your life. You know what living life is. 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 You know what living but y'all want to beat down like y'all ain't grew up yet. Stop hanging on to the ass. Because at the end of the day, she did the best that she could because she not No mother is perfect. Y'all want a perfect mother? You can't see and say this. You want a perfect mother? Can you mother? trust your kids around her? Would yes, you let your right, kids stay with her? Yes, she damn right. She'll be beating the hell out of her. Yes, she damn right. I can't. Yeah. You know why I can say that? Be hell you know why I can say that? Because she a totally different person now. You can't no. judge her from her past. No. Then why she 
commit herself. Let Why she go. can't admit to it? So what she can't admit it? You got a memory. You got a memory. All of us got memories. At the same, at the end of that, she don't do my kid like that. All of us got memories. Stop. Call my kids stupid. What's wrong with you? Hold on. Let me say the reason. Hold on, Aisha. The reason all of us are here today is to build from this day forward and apologize for the past, recognize wrongdoing, seek forgiveness, and let's move on. Aisha. Was this a, was this a, was this a, they got to grow up, grow past. I'm not holding on to the past. Grow up, grow past. Hurt to realize you, what she did. Girl, you see you see it over here. You about to cry. I ain't you mother. about to cry. You hold on to all that crying. Cause she's sitting in my face telling me what she gonna do to me. You grow on that. Did she beat you? Did she beat you? Mother was not perfect. Why? Right. She's not gonna ask. Mother was not perfect. She's not perfect. I just asked the question. Did she beat you? 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 Let's do the Aisha. You're not Which basically was Sandy a pretty good mom? Do you think was she a pretty good mom? She was challenging at times. Challenging at times. That's yeah. But she had problems. But you went through the same thing they went through. If my mother, if I was not with my mother as as that, because I was a teenager when I left home. I was 15. My mom was 15 when I left. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what I've learned from her made me a parent. You got a college a degree. Parent. Damn you got, yes. and, and your life is pretty good. Yes. So you a think job. these two need to let go of the past yes. and move on. That's yes. what you say, That's right? That's all I'm saying. Did she okay. Beat you? Did she beat you? Little, little girl, let me tell you something. But they, they don't did get she, it. Wait, okay, we, okay, okay, even though, okay, even though, oh God, even if we forgive her, that don't make her change. Let me talk. Let me talk. I'm about to get off this stage, baby. I'm about to. There you go. You used to make a good tail. You know she beat your too. I want to smack you too. With that with Your mouth ain't changed. Uh, let's hear. Well, I'm going to go. We I'm, hopefully with Angelique back later on. Aisha and Mama, I'm a parent. I didn't exactly go through your style of parenting when I grew up, but I made serious mistakes. Mm -hmm. Will you apologize for these two for whatever mistake in life as a mom they are to be? Will you apologize? What I'll apologize yeah. For taking money. Yeah. I didn't take no money from my son. You never did. Karan no. says. He what says you, you stole thousands. That? Come on, so when I was young, what what did you Where is that? Like you said, know? you never told us nothing. Like, at least save us up. No, you can't teach us something. I don't have nothing. All right, let's do this. Before we leave this point, yeah. Aisha, can you understand now. why your siblings <laughs> have a different attitude towards your mama than you had? Now, yeah. tell me your feeling. Yeah. You got the floor, Aisha. Go ahead. We hope to get Angelique back later on. Go ahead. I was first. I was first. I was first to get everything. My mother was aggressive because she was young. She went through a lot. She, hell, she was going through the same thing that they're talking about and that we went through also when she was a child. You know what I'm saying? So. I remember those things, but I didn't let it hinder me. I didn't hold it against her because at the end of the day, she the help, only son. mama. You had, I had help, no help. Son. What, what my help was? You had a 26-year-old. I'm gonna kick you out. You me. had him. And I was what? standing in the well, basement at his mama's. You, 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 you damn right. I Tony was still doing, doing it by myself. He didn't put you no money in my hand. You was going he to school. He was out of the roof, but I he put no money in my hand. Hold on, hold on. I, uh, you had mama and auntie him. I what happened? Nobody. You succeeded in life. Yes. And you're thinking the other siblings are being held back by negative feelings about mama, and you took those negative feelings and made it a positive, and yes. your life is better. Yes, grow up. Just tell really tell Karan your feelings about it. It's not even about that. Look, what look, she look, say look, 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 look. Stop saying you something that's more than that. You hold on to You hold on to something that's more than that. You hold on to something that's more than that. You hold on to something that's more than that. What type of stuff is that to ask yourself? That's karma, on, baby. Man. You get karma back for what you're doing no, right now. No, I don't now. get karma you for vending. You get karma now get karma karma because vending. you had an opportunity. You're doing karma good. For you ain't telling nobody how good you're doing, though. We'll be back with she more. Gonna do it. More siblings are coming up. Stay right there. I love my mama and dad. And to this day, I still do anything by. I just wanted to apologize for the way she made my life. That's all I want. I just want to realize what she did in the podcast. She's still mama to me. Another sibling with shocking stories of abuse. You didn't believe me. You were sitting and tell You Bill. brought this man to our house and asked him in my face. Did you, you tell my daughter? Comes face to face with her alleged molester. Why are y'all lying? Especially you, Anna.
Do you feel dissed by your own mother? Do you feel like she doesn't really love you at all? We want to hear your story. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Of course, message and data rates. Different perspectives, different experiences. Please welcome Sandy's daughter, Anna, to the show. Anna, come on out. Anna, have a seat right here. Right there, honey. Now, we've agreed off air we're going to allow a conversation. Anna, yes. the family is here to try to reunite it together and uh, talk about the past but move to the future. So talk about your relationships with your mother, Sandy. What, what problems did you have with her? What problems didn't I have with my mother is the question. Um, I don't even know where to start. You know, come here today. It's going to only solve about 10%. That's, that's better than nothing. It's so much. It's so much. You Mama have no never idea. had your back. Never had your back. When? Well, Tell talk, me when. Talk about some of the sexual things that went on that your mother may have known about. She's, well, if the first situation occurred when I was 10 years old. I was raped in my own home, in my bed, with her sleep in her bedroom. I contracted gonorrhea. My eight-year-old sister pretended like she was asleep and watched me get raped. You think anything ever happened? He never seen a jail cell for it. Never. Why? Mama, on that point, Why? let's talk about that point. Uh, now, hold yeah. on. The other two. Mama, go ahead. Now, she's telling that part, but she's not telling all of it. First of all, <laughs> she never, she, she had never an excuse, you all. didn't even come she to me. She had an excuse, period. you all. She never came to me. Did you know she, she had gonorrhea went, at the age of 10? I, I'm the one who took her to the doctor. Who well, didn't that to? raise some I, red flags? Because told you, you to. told my friend and my friend Why came didn't I tell me. you? Why, Why didn't I tell you? you? Why wouldn't you? Because you didn't make me feel comfortable. What you I didn't mean? look at you as a mother. You was already was uncomfortable when you got molested. You just said it yourself. I got raped right before you that. Got, you Why would, would not feel uncomfortable? Wait a minute, you would sit and tell You Bill. didn't believe me. You would sit and tell you Bill. You brought this man to our house and asked him in you my would, face, did you, you touch my daughter? When that tell. man told you no, that when that man told true. you no, I, you looked at me and called me a liar. That is not true. That is bring not true. Did you land that bed? Did you land that bed with me? Did you get right with me? You got to look at it like this. Because you know what? You know what? It's not on his fault. It's not her fault. Don't be yelling at Anna. Uh, one more. Did, did, her, did her boyfriend, Sam, sexually molest you? Yes. Her boyfriend. She know that. Mom, yes. did you know about that? She know that. Let me tell you something. He's here today. Let me tell you something. This girl Let me been I got an excuse. She was. Here it goes. Oh, like what? Right. Why didn't you right. go 11 years right. old? You see the point? Mothers, if your daughter told you what? she was sexual, oh, would you believe? I'm still saying Would you believe? Let not listen that to what? Hold on, hold on. My story has not changed. Right. Stand up. Hold on. Period. Just for a minute. Hold on. Hold it on. has not changed. Hold on, Anna. And it won't. Hold on, Anna. Hold on. Anna, hold on. Really Mama. Won't. Sandy, hold on. Really hold on. Bad. Question. Come. I am so sorry. I am in tears over here. I am a mother, and I just don't understand how can you believe the words of your own boyfriend over your own blood, over your own daughter. Let me get that clear. It was my own boyfriend. It was my friend. Explain, Anna. Explain, Explain. Anna. I want to get, I'm Mama, you got the floor. That is a great I'm question. Gonna it, I'm going to set it down real fast because I'm going to tell you something. While we sit up here up on this stage, uh, and everybody's going to have their opinions, well, opinions is Everybody got one. one can I? Let me. Oh, That's why we never was able to solve anything and talk to you. Did I get right? Did I get right? I, 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 I took you. Did I get right? Where were you? Where were you? Where did you believe what like you said? Bill, you, admit if it. I didn't believe it, why would I take you in the bed? Sam, do you believe? Hold on, hold on, hold on, honey. Do you believe your boyfriend Sam sexually molested your daughter for a year and a half? No, I don't. Evidently she don't. All right, let's do she this. What the Evidently she don't. No. Come on now, get real. Okay, no. I'm not shocked though. I'm not shocked though. What I'm not shocked though. What I'm not For a year and a half. That I'm not shocked. One at a time. One at a time. What Anna is failing to mention is that when she first made the statement, I did 
put my boyfriend out. You but I also have a they tried to the start. The police put it out. The police put it me, Bill. I, the police. I, I, how I, long I, do you I, say? I, how long did I, Sam I, I, molest you? A year and a half. A year and a half. A year and a half. Did you believe that? A year and a half. I'm not done. A year and a half. What they got to do anything? It got a lot to do with it. What they got to do with it? Violate me every week. I had to go to the place where she was in. I had to go counseling with her every weekend. You put me there. Let's go one time. Hold on, Mama. Aisha, do you believe Anna was sexually molested by Sam? I believe my sister. Whatever she tell me because she's Karan, always do you believe? I believe. Mama, I do you believe? I right do you, prior to the molestation. I, do you why believe? Why would I lie? Why would, I lie? Why would you continue to date a man? Why would you continue to date a man who sexually molested your daughter? First of all, Bill. Just give me an answer. The man wasn't even up in my house. He's here today. And I was. He is today. 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 Call 855-TELL-BILL with your decision. You're also going to receive some valuable offers. What will you decide? Call 855-TELL-BILL now. We have a family in crisis today, and we have an agreement among the siblings and mom that when Sam comes out, I want to give Sam an opportunity to get his word out from Sam's, everyone agree. Before we bring him out, when's the last time you saw I'm Sam? You know, Bill, I don't respect him. I know. And if he say something to me, I'm turning up. I wouldn't respect him. If he did I'm what he did, up. I wouldn't. No. Turn, turn I know. Up. No. No. Now. No, I'm letting you know. All right, now. I'm letting you know. He, he did. He, I he, no more. I'm he completely denies anything. He denies it. Now, Anna, how long has it been since you've seen him? Um, It's been about, oof, over, over a month. A month. You yeah, haven't seen it. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I don't see my mother. Are you mother. okay? Are you... I don't see my mother. You don't he see He told her if, if, if she want to come to my house or get dropped off or picked up from my house, he don't want nothing to do with her. She you, said okay. Mama, you've been she with Sam okay. for 11 this years. This just happened 11 a month years. ago. A month. And, and you've, you've been with Sam. Happened. And you love Sam and you believe Sam and you don't no, believe your daughter. No, no. We, I don't let Sam. We won't say that love I tolerate thing. Sam. We won't say then that love Then why the hell you stay with him? I love my children. No, that's what? You know. Do you? I don't say I love you, made you to that say. Up. One question, no, Mama. That one. Hold on. You made do, that up. Do you real. believe? Do you believe Sam hurt your daughter? Do you believe? No, Sam? I don't. Please no, welcome no, Sandy's I boyfriend, don't. Sam, to the show. Sam, come on out. <laughs> Why is y'all lying? Especially you, Anna. You can sit man you about can lie. Lie. I never touch To prove my innocence, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, if I can't prove my innocence, why would a person keep lying on it, saying I'm a lesser than a year and a half, and I didn't? Mm. You didn't do it. I got six girls I raised up, never touched them. They that's tried to lie and say I raised them. Why are they lying? Why? You What's the motivation? You know the reason why she lying? Cause she got oh, jealous of how good I take care of her mother. Jealous? You can have her. That's why she got lying. You can have her. I'll tell you what. You can have her. You made that up. To, I used to oh, take wait, this girl. Just, I just, Isn't that? I just, did you, did you tell, did you tell her about boys? Yes, I told her about what boys. What did you tell her? How? I told, how? I told her this how. Is, I said, boys gonna do I said, to you. I said, boys gonna I do said, you. boys gonna come after you. Right. And they're gonna and go you, after you, you down there. Did you show her about boys? Or did you tell her about boys? I told her about boys. That's what I did. Never touch her. That's what a father's supposed to do. Yeah, you got a sudden case of amnesia. Sit down. I told her about boys. Let's hear from Sam. I told her about boys. I tried to uh, uh, teach him to be a man, take him out to get a job to do something. He refused to uh, refuse.
feel like, fam. You know what? You know what? This all going to be on air? I want to get your say out. It's all on the table. They have a different perspective than you have. Are, are you willing, Mama and Sam? Are yes. you? But it's uh, yes, I Are you willing to say from this point forward? Can you apologize to the for the, the girls? I can't apologize because they're yeah. ungrateful, and you I don't apologize what? to no one. But I broke you know broke what, my know. butt working night and day to take care of them. And, and you did nothing wrong. You, you I did nothing yeah. wrong. Did you see him doing? I did wrong? nothing wrong. Can you apologize? And, and all the kids been something. around. I'm not gonna apologize for uh, something that I don't love feel them. that do, I did do, wrong. Do you love them? Whatever yeah. I did. Do you love them? Yeah. Yeah. I love them. And you them. want a relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Is what's happening today going to no, give you a relationship? No. Yeah. So let's go try something different. No. Say you're sorry. Let me tell you, they're ungrateful. They want things their way. They didn't came in their mother's house and try to rule it. I don't. I wasn't standing for it. Let's go back out here. You know, I wasn't standing for it. I like to make one more. I wasn't taking that, Sam. I don't. You hear me? If I was wrong, I wasn't taking that. I'd be as angry as you're angry. If I'm wrongfully accused, I'd be real mad. I'm so angry that it's eating me up. I know. Well, let's go out here. We're going to make one more effort of starting a new relationship with the family. Closed captioning of the Bill Cunningham Show is provided by. Siblings tormented by their painful childhood. This is a game. This is a you got your butt this whip. It's a big deal. Against a mother who refused to apologize for it. Do you want a relationship well, with uh, If I gotta have I a relationship my with my love. kids listening to this. Mm-mm. No. And before it's all over, something sends Angelique over the edge. Sandy, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no mama to me. Talk I hate you. You. From what I've seen and from what you've seen, it's obvious it's taken this family years, if not decades, to get to this point today. The goal is to see where we go from here. It may take years or decades to come out, but at least I want to make a small step forward in the future. We are not a courtroom. We can't litigate or determine whether sexual molestation took place 10, 15, 20 years ago. We can't do that. We want to help this family come together. Please welcome psychotherapist, Spirit to the show. Spirit, how you doing? I don't know what to say about this, and and I'm glad you're here. How can the, the family is here for one reason, to move forward. And I hope we made a small step in the right direction. I am sick about this family. This is dysfunction at its highest. And I've never done this before, but you know, with all due respect, Sam, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the stage for now. Okay. That's not to say that you did or didn't do anything. It's just that I need to do this. Just for a moment. Okay? And the reason why I'm saying that, I'm not saying that he did or did not do anything. And as you said, we're not a courtroom. But if he did, then I refuse to allow the victim to continue to be victimized by having to deal with this situation. And I also think that there is so much hurt and so much dysfunction right here that before we can even bring in the boyfriend, we need to do this. Take, Take a look at Angelique. Angelique is a mess. She is probably the the representation of what's going on in this family. But believe it or not, she's not the only one that's a mess. They're all a mess. Even you, dear, as as well as you say, I have moved on, let's present, let's just keep moving forward, you're as dysfunctional as all of them. You've just figured out how to go to the other side. You know, there's a thing that we say, Bill. I will. There's a thing that we say, is that in therapy, you it gives you the opportunity to express your emotions, okay? If you don't express them, then what you do is try to suppress them, which is where you are. And if you do that long enough, then you will repress them, which is where mom is. And if you do it long enough, you will become depressed, which is where your siblings are. Mom, first on that point. There is no first of all, mom. When you, when you stop, stop, stop you. when you your child, wait just a moment. Spirit, can I, wait, spirit, I want to hear from Mama. Mama, I want to, Spirit made, just made a Mama. Sandy, you ain't no mama to me. You too. So Dale, leave that my mama. And that is what I'm talking I about. Hate you. you are the mama. And you don't hate her. You love her and no, you're upset. I'm done. No, you might I'm be done. done. You She's might be hope. done, but you do not hate she her. I don't know what all. they have to Stop. do is get rid of the mirror. If they get rid the of the mirror, mirror then you mirror wonder why mirror. I don't have no emotions. Mom, <laughs> you Mom. wonder why I don't have no emotions. Hell, you do have I got emotion. rid of the mirror. My kids go no, around and carry the mirror. The mirror. The they look at the, the mirror. mirror. I regret. You just they look at the mirror. You're not going to apologize. This is my mirror. 
You're not going to apologize. Angelique has something to say, and then we're going to go to a break. Angelique, stay with me, hon. One thing. Look, Mama, look in your daughter's eyes. <laughs> it's okay. You know what, Ma? This is not an act. This is where I know what you did to me, okay? I know the beatings. You might not remember. You might have suppressed them like she said. Or no. No, I didn't. Each of me, he had a conversation with us. I told her I wasn't going to cuss at you up here. I was going to try to respect you. But you heard me. Me sitting here and you sitting in my face telling me you did not do what you did to me. Mom, hurt. Did say, you hurt you, it, No, you hurt. Did you hurt yourself? You hurt me. Did you hurt yourself? You hurt Did you hurt yourself? You hurt you hurt you 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 when we continue, it's the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. We began this show with the idea of trying to keep this family together because of all the past abuse and all the past difficulties. Spirit, what is your thought about where we go from here? Separation. Right now, they cannot be together. It's not healthy for them. And mom has shown time and time again today, she's not willing to deal with the reality of the legacy that she has left with her children. So for now, I would definitely recommend individual counseling for each of them. Maybe at some point, they'll come back together as a family. But for right now, it's they difficult. have too much healing to do. Well, if you have lived a life of abuse and lies and want to get past all the past pain, here's the bottom line. Family should be the foundation of a person's adult life. The first, last, and best teacher of every child is mom or dad. Sandy doesn't get it. She doesn't understand it. Maybe in the future, the light will go on. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Can you imagine having four or five kids, and you're a great mom, but if you were a terrible mom, they come on a national show and say, we want you to love us, right. say you're sorry and move on, and then that happened. No, I, I honestly, you know I'm not speechless often. I'm dumb. Oh, she cannot listen to her kids, number one, and stay with the man her daughter accuses and says molested. I don't know who did, who didn't, who did what, but... There was some honest said it, but also Angelique had sexual abuse. Her mom has got to protect her kids, and it didn't happen, and I'm sorry it ended up. They're so sad, you know. But it's real. It's well, real. you know what? We're going to get them a lot of aftercare. We'll try to help, and then maybe bring them back if things change.